today we're going to fix a paling fence. We uh, don't want to see the next door neighbours anymore. Little nail bag here, which is going to keep all my kit on me close by. And we'll slowly go through the tools that I've got down here as we go. Yep, measuring tape, always handy to have. Little square, nice and super handy to keep things nice and square. And a hammer. And of course, my trusty pencil, which is all on me now and I'm ready to rock and roll. This is the way we take off a fence paling. The best way to go about it is to start at the base and slowly pull it up with a jemmy bar. And of course it comes up, you've got that much. Never ever start in the middle either, because if you do, sometimes it can spring off and smack you in the face. So once again, pull it up a little bit, get underneath the nails, push it and she's clear. This is the second fence paling. As you can see, it's also broken. Once again, start at the base, pull it straight up simply, and once again, you have another one off. Next thing you go is have a look at where the old nails are sticking out of these old railings here. So grab your hammer, simply just pull them out. Rusty old nails, they're no good. So there's another one out. All right, now you've got all the nails out. Next step is to get a measurement exactly what the old ones are. So grab your trusty little tape out and it is exactly 1500. So let's put on my safety gear and eyeglasses and we'll get into our measurement. Hook the little fella over the end, get nicely up to your 1500. Right there. Time to cut the little fella. Be nice and careful. Stay sort of a little bit back from it just in case you get a little bit of kickback and simply follow the line. You can take your protective gear off now. No noise, no sawdust. It's time to fix this board to the fence. What you need to fix this board is number one, a level, because you don't want it all wonky. Nothing worse than a wonky fence. So we throw it down on the small plinth board down the bottom here. I'll grab my level, my bubble, in the centre. Usually a good idea to just keep your foot nice and on the bottom just to keep it steady. It's always a little bit easier when it comes to nailing to have a what we call like a dolly which is putting your foot hard up against it so it doesn't swing out and try and hit you. Simply hold your hammer right down the end. So you'll get another 30 years out of these bad boys. All right guys it's time to put the overlap on now. Now this nailing here is going to be seen. And repeat the process until you have it fixed. Okay, we've got the last one to go on. So we're gonna simply put this one on as we did before. Once again, nice and level, overlapped with the inside 115 mil board. So, we'll just continue to repeat the process of um, lining our nails up and off we go again. So that's the job finished. No more neighbours looking through your fence anymore. Check out the other DIY videos on how to do things and make your house look nice.